I didn't want to be a rock star, and I didn't want to be a movie star. No pictures, please. I wanted to be a health-based culinary expert, a cook star, and so can you. Hi, my name is Remy, and today on Cook Time with Remy, we're gonna prep and cook one of my favorite dishes, strawberry salsa. Okay, first things first. The number one rule on Cook Time with Remy is that you always check with a parent or an adult before you start cooking. Next, it's very important to wash your hands before you start any cooking. Today we're going to make my signature dish, strawberry salsa, with my favorite food, strawberry. The next thing we need to do is get our mixing pots, pans, and bowls, so here's our bowl. Now, the ingredients we'll need for this dish are tortilla chips, pineapple, green bell pepper, olive oil, yellow bell pepper, lime juice, strawberries, onion, cilantro, orange juice, cucumber, jalapeno, and some salt and pepper. Did you know over 80% of the strawberries distributed throughout the United States are grown in California? They produce over a billion pounds a year. Also, strawberries have to be hand-picked because they're very fragile. So with about a billion pounds produced, that's a lot of picking. And did you know, strawberries are my favorite fruit. Yum. First, we're gonna start off by putting our strawberries in because it's a strawberry salsa. Also, strawberries are my favorite fruit, so that's why I really love this salsa. And then I'm gonna add some pineapples, natural sweetness. And then our cucumber, crunchiness of course. Next up, we have a bit of spiciness to go with our um, sweetness. You gotta be careful with jalapeno because you always wanna wear a glove or some kind of protection whenever you cut it. So that way, the juice doesn't go in your fingers and it, it hurts after a while. And then, we're gonna add some green bell pepper and some yellow bell pepper, which both have loads of vitamin C in them. Have onion. Put that in. Some salt and pepper. And we're going to mix it up. Also, one of the reasons I really love this salsa, besides that there's strawberries in it, is because it's really colorful and it's appealing to the eye. Because people eat with their eyes. So it has to look good and they're going to try it. Next up, we're going to make our sauce which is just lime juice, some olive oil, and orange juice. Let's mix it up. And now we're going to drizzle some on. And remember, whenever you have any kind of sauce or dressing, you always want to add it right before you serve it. So that way you don't have a soggy salsa. A soggy salsa does not taste that good. Oops, now we're gonna stir it up a little bit. Get a little messy here. Give it a nice good coat. And then, presentation matters, we're gonna put it in our little bowl over here by our chips. Put a good size in there. We got some more strawberries. And to garnish, we have some cilantro. And then, we have the strawberry salsa. When you're cooking, it's always very important to make sure ingredients measurements are right and the ingredients you use should always be as fresh as possible so your food tastes the best. Remember the cook time rule. You should always have all five food groups whenever eating each meal. Cooking is fun, and the food you make should taste good and be healthy for you. Now for my favorite part, the taste test. I really do love this dish. I mean, it's not only does it have strawberries, which are my favorite food in it, but also just a combination of the spiciness from the jalapeno, the natural sweetness from all the fruits, and a little bit of citrusiness from the sauce. It just, the combination works so well together. Plus, it has tons of kid-friendly ingredients, so it's a kid-friendly dish. Thanks for hanging out with me on Cook Time with Remy. See you next time when we'll be making baked sweet potato fries and lemon dipping sauce. All kids should lead a healthy, active, and nutritious life. 
and we all play a role educating young people about healthy choices, including 16 million children at risk of hunger in the U.S. Join me and Sodexo to help raise awareness about the 1 in 5 children at risk of hunger by visiting an online youth action center at www.nokidhungry2.org. Sorry, I said hello, what am I saying? <laughs> Ready, Barry? Ready as I'll ever be. Woo! No, what am I thinking? Okay, sorry. <laughs> the th uh, the th <laughs> what did I say? Oh, I'm giving myself a hard time because I'm confusing and I really want this strawberry, so it's messing with my brain. Boom! A clap of thunder. <gasps> yeah. Good enough.